<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's Techno, and um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming at you with our CPC Season 4 Week 7 Battle versus the Angels of BM. Now, <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I'm kind of giggly this battle, but I'm just super excited uh, because we got a super, super exciting guest on this battle. Um, so what we're going to be doing... <laughs> So, the Angels of VHM are an undefeated team, they're 6-0, and um, and I should probably go over their team right here. So, the team that they have is Landorus Incarnate, Big Fucking Threat, Kieran Black, um, Z, Z Captain, wow, um, Greninja, they've got Mega Agron, they've got Togekiss, they've got Miltank, Tentacruel, Gorgeist, Espeon, and Luxray, just super, super duper threatening team, super duper, um, so... Um, one thing I noticed going into this matchup now, um, we are 3-3 three and three right now, so we could be doing a little bit better, but, like, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, so I decided to, uh, bring Mega Ampharos, but it's going to be Agility Mega Ampharos, um, because if you look at that thing's matchup versus this team, it just kind of destroys everything. Because look at everything it hits with these three moves right here, Thunderbolt, Inner Power, Ice, Focus, Blast, oh yeah, that's everything. Um... After the um the speed I have right here, I'm pretty sure is to guaranteed outspeed Scarf Greninja. I'm not sure though. I think I may have messed that up. But <laughs> what can you do, man? Um, so the next Pokemon we're gonna be bringing is going to be our Vaporeon. Now we have Scald, Hidden Power, Fighting, Wish, and Protect. Um, so the reason I have this thing is so I can take on the Landers Incarnate. <laughs> I am so sorry, there's so much shit in the background right now. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Let's wait a sec. Okay, so we have we have we have we have Scald, Hidden Power Fighting, Wish, and Protect. Now, the special defense stat and the HP stat mean I can't get two shot by a life orb, um, the sheer force landers incarnate. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have 16 special attack investment, because I feel like if he runs a Kira, it's gonna have, like, enough HP so that it substitutes don't get broken by Vaporeon if it has sub, so that's the reason for that, and then I just ran the rest in defense and gave it a bold nature, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am so sorry. So, um, for the past couple of weeks, um... We've brought our Concounter, and it it just hasn't done a lot of a lot of work for me at Shit. all. <laughs> but but this week I have a special guest. Um, I think now this this is this is a really big uh, ordeal. Now I I called um the boss baby on Skype. I called the boss baby, and he he responded. And he said he wanted to come to my house and be in my video. So he's actually at my house right now. I really wish I could face ca face cam this, but I can't. Um, so, Boss Baby, would you please introduce yourself? Goo Goo Gaga. I'm the Boss Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I I play Pokemon, but I'm baby. <laughs> Is this, is this a baby? This, this That's not the boss baby. Because <laughs> I'm the boss baby. The set we're going to be bringing is going to be a bulk up encounter. Now, I'm not going to lie. Um, So I looked at his matchup, and I like saw the Gorgas, but I didn't see the fucking Togekiss or the Landorus eye. That's a baby mistake. <laughs> So I decided, so I freaking just didn't bring shit for the Landorus Eye or the Togekiss. You cuss too much. I'm only a baby. <laughs> so, so, the set we have on this thing is max, max HP, and we have 100, um, we have 160 defense. That lets me live Adamant Banded Cure and Black's Outrage. So we gotta think like ahead in that shit, and um, we also have careful nature with 100 special defense investment. Now we have scarf feature in this week because I it's literally just so good. 
Uh, Fire Blast, Earthquake, Flash Cannon, and HP Ice. It literally just destroys everything. Nothing is safe. Um, we have our monster, the Alakazam, um, with Psy Shock, Focus, Blast, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Ice. You can keep talking if you want, boss, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get a copyright strike. I, I know <laughs> memes are bad for babies. Indeed. Luckily, I'm no ordinary baby. I'm the boss. <laughs> Screw that side shock move. How about some? How about some baby pout? Ba baby, baby doll eyes. That's illegal, but you know. The next thing we have is a crowbat. I need a default. He's not changing that, folks. <laughs> Let's just get into the freaking battle. <laughs> so, he, he brings a team of... Uh, what does G-L-H-F mean? <laughs> Good luck. I can't read. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Goo -goo -ga -ga. Get off my bed. Uh, means, uh, Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Don't bring a baby in your bed. <laughs> so, you can see his team is Kiram Black, Miltank, Togekiss, um, Mega Agron, Greninja, and Tentacool. Now, from the moment I saw the Togekiss, I was like, shit, my Kinkata doesn't... Does that... Does that one have milk? <laughs> yeah, it does. It's called milk tank. <laughs> I want to suck that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alec Baldwin is very... <laughs> Anyways, he didn't bring the Landorus... Who's Alec Baldwin? He didn't bring the Landorus Incarnate, so my Vaporeon is now only really pressured versus the Agron and the Greninja. And then for the rest of his team, I'm just kind of good. Did, did you uh, win this? We'll see, my friend. <laughs> um, so I brought... So you guys, I'm going to lead off with my Heatran. I mean, no, I'm fucking stupid. I'm going to lead off with my Kinkouter, the Boss Baby. Now, Boss Baby, how do you feel about me leading off with you? That's pretty good. He, you can see I'm going to lead off with you right here. But Am I going to die? He's, you'll see. He's going to lead off with his tentacruel. And I decide, hey, I have guts, so I can just kind of knock this thing off. And he goes into the Togekiss. And um, the Togekiss um, gets... I, it loses its expert value. Yeah, it says Techno right there. Um, so I go into my Crobat because I expect an Aura Sphere um, predicting the Heatran if possible. Uh, but... You done goofed. No, he goes for the air slash, but it doesn't do shit. That, half your health, that's a lot. It, it's not exact. It, it's, okay, whatever. U-turn goes that's out That's not here. 13. That's, that's okay. Yeah, the U-turn doesn't do anything to the mill tank, but I have my Alakazam, and I can threaten this thing with a focus blast. Uh, however, he's way too smart for me, and he goes into his Togekiss right here, and my focus blast just doesn't do anything. Now, I did a calc, and I can't kill with, from this range with anything that I have. And so basically... What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go into my Vaporeon, and he is going to actually go into the Greninja. Now, I do have HP Fighting to hit this thing as well as the Kira. However, there is no reason for me to go for that there. I just go for the Wish. Uh, maybe I can get my my Crobat back up. And you guys are going to see, that's actually exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my Crobat and get that thing right back up. So, now we have a full health Crobat on the field. Yes. Yeah. Um, and let's, I'm just going to defog. Um, this might have been like a slight series of misplays, uh, however, it's like, whatever. Um, the Brave Bird's gonna come out here, it's not just not gonna do much at all. And the return, it's not gonna be able to kill me, and I know he's not gonna go for a return, I know he's gonna go for Stealth Rocks, if anything. So, yeah, uh, we just stay in, and we continuously click the Roost button. And he, oh he, he clicks no trend. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, baby, do you have a problem with that? I feel like this is gonna be a long night. <laughs> well, you, you'll you see. Um, so I know his whole set, I know it, that he can't touch my heat end with anything. Except for the return, but that's not gonna do a lot. So I go for flash cannon, and that does so much damage to his heat Um, and here I make a prediction, I think. Do I? I don't remember. Um... <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I go into my Crobat predicting a Tentacruel switch. Um, and the reason I. Or, or Greninja switch. The reason I did that is because I wanted to uh, get a defog off potentially. But he U turns here. And here I just make a dumb play. Um, so I kind of expect him to go back. I go into my Alkazam, right? Because it forces immediate pressure. But I expect him to go back into the. Um, into the. Um, the Togekiss. Uh, so I go for the Psy Shock, and it just doesn't kill from that range. It's kind of stupid, because it's Life Orb. 
Um, but yeah, he goes for a turn, and he crits me. Now, that crit definitely mattered, um, because the crits, like, Miltank, Alakazam's frail, however, Miltank is not that strong. I'm frail. Okay. Um, but yeah, so now my plan is, I don't really have an alternative play other than just going into this thing and trying to force immediate pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the agility, he's going to go for the return, and he's going to do a decent amount to me, and I just go for the agility. And I know it's just not worth it for me to set up again, because I know he's going to have something in the back to take me on, so I just go for the Thunderbolt. Um, and here he goes into his Tentacruel, and I know right away that this is definitely Wakam Barrier Assault, this Tentacruel with Miracope. And I'm not going to risk that, I'm just going to go right out of here, go into my uh, Crobat. Stop checking my Snapchat. And I we get the Miracope play right. So here... He is going to go into his Agron, as I am just going to defog away the rocks. And here he gets me on a really good play. He had rocks on his mill tank, so I definitely did not expect rocks on this. But My here, brain. he's going to go for rocks <laughs> on that again. Uh, so, he's going to go into his Togekiss as I go into my Vaporeon. I get off a Wish, and now I can go into my Heatran, because I know he can't really kill me with anything. Or he wouldn't go for an attack that would be able to kill me. Because um, that's just not optimal at that moment. I go for the flash cannon and do big damage to this thing, because now my plan is just kind of to win with the Conkelder, um, or maybe even the Ampharos if I can kind of set up at all, or get like weak in the tentacle. Um, however, that's not going to happen right now. So, Water Shuriken is a potential play that my opponent can make, um, but he doesn't go for it here. He's going to go for it later, you guys are going to see. And here, I can't risk this thing setting up a sub as he doubles into it. Very good double. However, now, um, he goes for the fusion ball and it doesn't kill, which means he's not max attack, so that's great. Um, absolutely wonderful. And um, Hidden Power is going to come out here, and we're going to do a decent amount of damage to the Kyurem, and that Ooh, damage is actually going to matter. Uh, so we're going to sack our Crobat, and now a lot of our team's in range of the rocks. So here, this is kind of the turning point of the match right here. I live with a little bit of health on my Heatran, I know that for a fact, just from the way that rocks work. And I, I have to predict something right here, probably the tentacle. If he stays in and he goes for a roost or something, I could potentially just lose the game. However, if he, it, however, if he goes into the tentacle, then uh, we'll be fine. Uh, so I go for the earthquake here, predicting the tentacle, and we are able to catch that. And that is going to put me right back into this, because now everything on this team can kind of just lose to the um, the Kinkelder, or my boss baby. Um, so the water shuriken is gonna come out here. Yes, I am. I am important. Um, so here I go into the boss, baby, and um, yes. What I'm gonna do is I am going to um, I'm going to go it for the um. That was my binky. <laughs> I'm going to go. So you guys are gonna see. Um, we, I know I can take any hit from this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to go right for the bulk up. And at that point, I can then just sweep everything on the team with Mock Punch, Dream Punch, whatever the fuck I want to sweep it with. How do you feel about that? that that's... I'm a boss. <laughs> oh my fuck! <laughs> <laughs> boss, baby, was that your past fight? What the fuck did you knock over, you little shit? Okay. I'm sorry! <laughs> no, <laughs> that was my spot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, the Can heavy you get banned from the league for this. <laughs> no, the heavy slam is gonna come out here. I bulk up because I don't want him to counter me like surprisingly and just for me to lose my aggro. I mean my encounter. And now we're just gonna be able to sweep him with the encounter. So we defeated an undefeated team with the boss baby. Um, That's I. I hope he watches this video. Yeah, I hope so too. I think that this was probably one of my best videos so far. Uh, I thought that I I put in a lot of work and effort. You mean you, you you mean you were actually gonna edit, but you fucking didn't? Like like <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure out how OBS works, so I just used QuickTime Player. <laughs> yeah, how could you not figure out how OBS works? <laughs> Who fucking cares? Anyways, I'm a baby, and I could get that. Anyways, I'm four and three. Uh, we beat an undefeated player. Uh, he's six and one now, so that's great. Uh, Boss baby finally did work after getting no kills for the last couple of weeks. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Next week we wait, play wait, the Rhine Valley Guardians. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to the music. I'll see you guys next.